All right, everybody, this is a must-see video TV presentation I'm trying to give y'all today. Sound the alarm. Come on in the rooms. Have a seat because I need to get down to the T. Why didn't nobody tell me? And I was just asking that probably several videos ago. What happened to Tanya Sams? Why she ain't holding the peach no more? Well, hell, I just wrong. Beyonce was right. Ring the alarm, honey. Because I got to get to fighting with some folks around here. I'm going to drop the T. The T is Kenya Moore Trashes. Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star who is trying to make a name for herself. Fans speculate she will be feuding with Tanya Sams. Evidently, she don't feud with Tanya Sams all of air. And Tanya Sams ain't going to be a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. On the peach holding front. She's going to be a friend of a friend of a friend friend. Cast on the show. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. They got rid of Samari. Now they don't uh, demoted Tanya Sands to bring Kenya Moore back. Is this how we doing these things, Bro Road TV? All right, fat checkers. Get in there. Update me because I didn't know I let this story pass me by. Lord, don't pass me by. Okay, how that story get past me, y'all? Anyway, let's drop on into it. All right, written by uh, a journalist by the name of Ricky Mathers, uh, working over there at uh, Celebrity Insider. The title was given after Kenya Moore trashes Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star who is trying to make a name for herself. Fans speculate she may be feuding with Tanya Sams. Woo-wee! Woo-hoo-wee! And I never thought that Tanya was um, bothering anybody. I know she liked to drop the teeth. And don't drop it real well, you know. I caught her in action when she tried to clock tea that Nene said she wanted to give to Eva Marcel back in the day. And she went and ran her mouth. So, yeah, I didn't too much like time for that. I'm like, you got to be well equipped to drop tea. And it has to come with some type of class, you know. Not ass, class, okay. Whew. Anyway, moving on to the article, it says Kenya Moore is back and better than ever in the new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta that is currently being filmed. After the mother of one took to Instagram to slam one of her co-stars, fans are starting to speculate that she may be feuding with Tanya Sam. Did they get to fighting over there in Greece? They trying to give us all this baby loving stuff between her and Portia and then the walls are tearing down over there in Greece. <laughs> Lord, thankful for not the Leaning Tower. Peas are being destroyed over there with them ladies. Okay, what is Kenya? What is Tornado doing over there? That's what I want to know. But going back to the article, it says um, Tanya is a nurse turned tech uh, mongol that viewers were introduced to last season and has been asked back for the current one. She was originally said to be Nene Leakes' friend, but her title was changed to Eva. Marcel's friend after she had a spat with the Broadway star. So you trying to tell me Tanya was trying to clock her own tea and her own intelligence and Nene couldn't handle it. So Nene had to do some damage control and say, I might not have all the sense she had, but can y'all get her in check? <laughs> I am the head B I B head B I C H in charge. And we will not have all of these people coming at me all willy-nilly. Do she not know who I am on this reality show? Do she not know I bring the ratings? Was well, Nene trying to clock her on tea? And Kenny was sitting in the bushes somewhere listening to everything to try to get control of the situation where she can just go on and knock her out the box. Because that's what it seems like. They not both Tanya and Shamari out the box. Leading the way for Kenny to come back full-fledged peach holder, and she don't care about nobody else, okay? Is that how Kenya and Nene are getting down? Like, they conspired this thing together to get rid of those two. I don't know. Just my opinion. I'm trying to catch up, because like I said, I didn't even know about this story. Okay, going back to the article, it says, last week, Moore took to Instagram, lied to Vin about a certain someone trying to make a name for themselves. All right, now, see, Kenya, you already started, honey. Just because the lady got smarts behind her, don't trash her, okay? She's not trash, King. She's not somebody like you can just toy with, like with Phaedra and uh, Portia, okay? And then Phaedra had some uh, common sense, street smarts, and she was very intelligent as well. You got many, 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 many post-secondary educations on her back, okay? 
But moving on, it says in the video, say by Real Housewives of Atlanta fan accounts, she explains, you know how it is when you when they say in prison culture. Now, sidebar, what can you know about prison? She can only go and speculate what somebody else told her about it. See, can you you start shit already? You 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 and now I'm talking about I start stuff all all the time with Kenya. And that I don't speak no truth. She ain't never been in jail before. How she could speak on something she ain't never experienced. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, I just want Kenya's followers to understand that. All right. Check her, y'all. Check her. Because your damn sure be checking me and, and, and biting out my ass all the time. Okay. It's already raw back there. I had to take a break from uh, my platform just to heal. Okay. But going back, it says in the video saved by Real Housewives of Atlanta fans. Account, she explains, you know how it is when they say in the prison culture and to get some street cred, you just go up to the biggest guy in the yard and just punch them in the face. Well, I feel like some people try to do that just so they can make a name for themselves. So look at Kenya trying to toot her own horn. Anyway, moving back to the article, it says fans have used deductive reasoning to narrow the possible culprits who pick a fight with Kenya to be either Tanya Sands or Yovana Love, another Real Housewives of Atlanta newcomer. Well, I mean, they really need to just get Yovana on off the show because we didn't like her too much when she was on there. She wasn't giving us anything but high school drama antics slash college tease, okay? Going back to the article, it says a recent report has claimed that it was indeed Sam who the hair care company owner got into it with. Media Takeout reported that Tanya and Kenya went head to head. Woo-wee! Can you see that? Beauty on beauty. Smarts on smarts. Wits on wits. But I don't think Kenya got, she knows how to give a nice shading uh, reading, <laughs> what they call it. I call it uh, pretty much a nice nasty cuss out, okay? With a little joning on the side. Uh, and I think uh, Tanya's in that kind of a lingo language where she can get back, like, you know, shooting the dozens or Joan and how we used to say it in my day. All right. But going back to the article, it says, Kenya and Tanya got into a little argument. It wasn't anything serious. Just a few jabs being sent back and forth. Kenya started getting personal. She says, how can you attack you? You know, she don't just deal with what she can deal with. She go hit below the belt. And see, I got proof here, people. Kenya support us. Now, you know Tanya wasn't that bad. Tanya was almost like Cynthia. She couldn't really do too much, you know, and you just be like, okay, just give her that. She's a little, you know, she, she's a little scrub at the time, a little rookie. We're going to, you know, work on her. We're going to develop her so she can come into a full-fledged reader, you know what I'm saying? But we, we're going to let her just, you know, mouth out, let her vent, and, and we're going to move on. We're going to disregard her because we know she don't know no better, okay? But. Going back to the article, it says Kenya and Tanya got into a little argument. It wasn't anything serious. Just a few jabs being sent back and forth. Tanya started getting personal. Talking about how Tanya's boyfriend would never marry her. See, that's it. Now you see what I'm saying. Now you see what I'm saying? My uh, loyal supporters of Kenya. You see how Kenya bring in stuff that ain't got nothing to do with somebody else, you know, business. Stay with the person you're trying to dog out. You're trying to uh tear down don't go into the uh, wardrobe this is like saying somebody come for a mark or somebody come for your baby girl you're gonna be all up in a, a big roar and then you know you're gonna be tr doing everything to get them folks off of uh your family or yourself and then you're gonna uh not want to look bad in the situation you're gonna call you know what do you call it you're gonna like you playing victim at the time see um, okay my, my people that honor and, and, and support uh, Kenya, you see what I'm saying? Uh, and and, and Pro Tanya wasn't even really no big threat. Okay, she wasn't no big fish in the pond like Nene and Marlo. And let me see who else. Candy birds, you know what I'm saying? No. She was like a little Cynthia. But you just pat her on the head and say, sit down for a moment. Just sit down for a moment. Okay, I got this. That kind of a person. But Kenya went full fledged. Okay, she went and started talking about Tanya's boyfriend. Talking about she'll never. Get married. He ain't gonna never marry you, okay? Oh, little Debbie Downer. That can you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, and she go. the article goes on to say, and she said that Tanya should have frozen her eggs. Now it's too late for her to have kids. That's it. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. See, now where's the miracle, baby? Where's all this uh, praise and worship? Can you go through and y'all take her through too? Right. See, what, see what I'm saying? This is happening in August. <laughs>
Y'all better be glad I ain't get this story. Y'all better be glad I ain't get this story. I can't even get I, I can get on one thousand with Taryn Kenya down. Okay, but I'm just saying, y'all see what I'm reading. Y'all see what Kenya giving us. Now I want my uh lawyer support so Kenya to explain. Please explain. Please explain why Kenya is going on this young lady hard. I mean, she don't blow the gas. She just pressing, I mean, everything the engine could rev up to. Okay. We're going back to the article. So, well, let me let me stay there for a little minute. Just a little minute. Okay. Let me just wallow in this for a moment. Now, see, Kenya done sat up there and talked about the girl's boyfriend. She done told the girl uh, what the man's true intent is and that's not to even give her his last name can you don't have no proof can you just spit out shit from her mouth and then she you know she's gonna come back and she's gonna play the victim i know she is then she sat up there and told the woman she should have frozen her ears because it's too late for her to have kids and she up here trying to be in this uh, uh trying to support women in this fertile what do you call it fertile uh ivf treatment thing and you see what i'm saying then y'all talking about she could be a, a ambassador but she's sitting up here telling some myths like this now all, all of this alleged all of this allegedly because you know we're going on a uh a celebrity insider they're a news logging person but like i say you can't get things too much wrong because you will get sued you get in litigation and all that stuff so this stuff has to be correct it has to be correct but you see what i'm saying do you see what i'm saying people my child can y'all lawyer fans taking up for Poor Miss Kenya. And she's sitting up there tearing somebody down from where they can't have a kid because they, they boyfriend ain't going to marry them. And they, they, they should have froze your eggs because now you ain't got a chance in hell. You see you, you, you what I'm saying? Oh, man. Okay, going back to the article, it says, if the report is true, it would definitely be low of Kenya to throw the fact that Tanya may not be able to conceive in her in her face since she welcomed baby working through IVF. They see what I'm talking about, people. Where are my fact checkers? Where are my supporters? Because I'm highly mad that y'all got on me. Y'all stayed on my ass 24 7. Every time you saw a video, check out on Dear Snails 40 years where y'all was here like uh, rabbit dogs trying to attack me. And see, ain't that the cop pot, the pot calling the kettle black? You see how calm me is? You see how it done wrapped around? It done wrapped around? Yes, it has. It's going to come full circle. Kenya showing her ass again, like I told y'all. But anyway, it says, do you think that Kenya and Tanya are at all? That's what we want to know. That's what the people want to know, too. And if any of this part is true, what do my lawyer supporters got to say who sit there and defend a woman that says one thing but does another one? The hypocrisy is real, people. Now, I don't told you what I felt about this situation. Okay, this subject matter. Y'all get in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. And you can always go on Celebrity Inside of Yourself. Just plug in. Uh, what did I plug in to get this story? Kenya Moore. And I said put trashes. Uh... Tanya Sams. And it's going to come up black and white. You can read it for yourself. But you know, that's what I did. I waited for you all. Read it to y'all. Made my opinions and stuff. So now it's time for y'all to tell me about this. Was Kenya fair in saying all that uh, low, below the belt, hurtful stuff that could stay with the person's mentality for a lifetime? Was she right in doing that? Saying that? What kind of person does that make Kenya? Tell me. Does it, is that worthy of an ambassador? Of trying to help people, trying to raise money for a, a person. Y'all tell me, because I just want to know. I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. I need to hear what y'all got to say. Put them in the comments. Okay, don't 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 be coming after me. I done read you the story. Tell me what you think about this person doing this to this other person. That's what I want. That's what I want to hear. Okay? But that's all I have for this video. Hopefully, y'all have a nice evening. I will see y'all tomorrow for another video, because I got to go. I got to go to bed. All right. See you. Night, night. Don't let the bad bugs bite. Bye.